Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 23rd, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here looking at our sun, as I did post earlier, we've had multiple M class solar flares and one top scale M class solar flare, all Earth facing from the Earth facing sunspot regions. I've been warning about this past week. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, no major filaments around the surface of the sun. A lot of the energy is coming from those sunspot regions. Looking at outgoing here. Minor plasma filament eruption there in the southeast region, right hand side. But the big story is these M class solar flares from the Earth facing sunspot regions, instantly putting us into an R3 radio blackout storm. Solar radiation impacts expected and a coronal mass ejection, which is set to arrive. On March 25th into the 26th, having a look at multi-spectrum here, pointing out the last 48 hours of events. Big active sunspot regions that produced the X-class solar flares a couple weeks ago. And as well, a big coronal hole that is Earth-facing, set to increase our solar winds within the next 12 to 24 hours. And then our CME impact. Looking at another light here, just some amazing imagery brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed here with daily events worldwide as we have eight sunspot regions to look at. A little earth to scale showing those large sunspot regions that are active right now. You can see them in motion, just amazing, it's static how they're working together. Current space weather conditions, we are under R3, strong radio blackout impacts expected and as well S2, solar radiation storm impacts, and geomagnetic storm impacts. Already seeing northern lights across northern Canada right now, and as well through Europe. Solar winds are coming in at 476 kilometers per second. Enhanced solar wind stream, solar X-ray flux, you can see strong M-class, and multiple triple shot M-class solar flare, instantly putting the solar proton flux into the S3 range. Geomagnetic activity hopped up to KP5 twice in the past 48 hours. Having a look here at the DROP absorption map showing the cosmic radiation and where it was at its strongest. Space weather prediction spiral here showing the CME taking off from our sun, expected arrival. 24th into the 25th, late on the 24th. Would not surprise me if it came sooner. Closer look here, little green circle on the right hand side is Earth, and there is that CME. Definitely an Earth direction. So, geomagnetic storm, solar radiation storm expected for the next 48 hours. ISWA space prediction spiral showing the same thing. Large CME taking off from the sun. Little yellow circle is Earth on this map. But that is a large CME. Lots of cosmic energies heading our way. Aurora forecast right now for the next few hours. As the dark lit or the dark side of our planet comes around. It will be visible across northern Canada and Europe. Let's have a look at Lasco 2. Last 48 hours of imagery brought to you by Soho. Large coronal mass ejection and then watch all that static energy invading the satellites. We'll slow that CME down. Looks like a phoenix. Huge wings taking off from the sun and then all that static energy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Zap. And boom. Cosmic energy is invading me. 
Now let's have a look at earthquakes the past 24 hours. USGS reporting about 230 the last 24 hours, largest being a 6.9 earthquake that rocked Papua New Guinea, northern land, and not a very populated region, but a very strong earthquake for that region. Two pretty deep earthquakes on either side, Vanuatu, and as well, uh, the Philippines. This is the deepest last 24 hours, 547 kilometer depth. So shallow 6.9 earthquake rocking Papua New Guinea. No tsunami warning or watches put out from that earthquake. Have a look across North America. No major swarms to talk about. Largest being a 3.1. Notable increasing activity through Oklahoma. Caribbean plate. Minor seismicity continual. South American plate all of a sudden has gone quiet, but a pretty deep earthquake, San Antonio do de Cobros, has me a little bit worried we could see something big. Of course, we've got the Iceland eruption that is still spewing out millions per square meter of lava. Having a look here at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world, Largest the last seven days was the 6.9 Papua New Guinea reported today. Increasing seismicity all up into the Indian plate and as well across the Pacific plate into the Philippines. Heads up everybody, could see something rocking up towards Alaska. Now let's have a look at our SO2 forecast. Brought to you by our 45 volcanoes that are erupting around the world that produce the sulfur dioxide contents. All of that SO2 in our northern hemisphere right now brought to you by the Iceland volcano as that has been erupting since the 14th. Having a look around the rest of the world, Central America, lots of SO2. And as well across Europe, as the Northern Hemisphere has been inundated with sulfur dioxide emissions and most likely cloud cover brought to you by the Iceland volcano. Quick look here at the other regions around the world and as well northern parts of Russia. And that is where most of this SO2 is right now all across Russia and then scooting across the Bering Strait and then being sucked down into Canada. Now let's get to the weather forecast brought to you by Windy.com. We do have an extreme weather event racing up the eastern seaboard United States and as well a pretty intense low coming in from Monday and Tuesday across the central U.S. moving up into eastern Canada. That will bring snow but warmer temperatures are moving then as these systems start moving in from the equator regions. Overlooking Europe, you've got multiple lows affecting you this week. One is on the shores of Finland right now, and as the other two will be making landfall through Ireland and the United Kingdom next Wednesday into Friday. And then the system's just to keep coming in. So lots of moisture for Europe over the next little while. Overlooking South Africa and Australia. No major typhoons or cyclones forecasted here. But pretty strong system will be bringing some strong winds and a lot of moisture towards parts of northern Madagascar. Other than that, pretty uneventful through the region. Overlooking the North Pacific, multiple lows heading up into Alaska, set to bring in some a lot of heavy snowfall and as well as strong winds. BC looks like Wednesday into Thursday, you're going to see a low pressure system come in. And then California in the long range next weekend. Let's have a quick look at snowfall totals for the next 10 days forecast. As we are in spring, but we've still got a lot of snowfall forecast here for the next 10 days. Especially across eastern Canada. 
And as well, western United States, higher elevations through California could see upwards of 130 centimeters of snow and about 50 to 80 centimeters of snow through parts of Nova Scotia and the Atlantic provinces. Quick look here at our polar vortex. Looking at the southern hemisphere first as things are starting to ramp up and switch from the north. Most of the energy will be there in the next little while. Have a quick look at our trade winds. There's our northern hemisphere. Polar vortex is breaking down. Definitely seeing some interesting cool temperatures still across the West Pacific. And things are heating up across the, North, the Atlantic and Central regions. Let's have a quick look at last year versus this year. 2023, March 23rd versus today. One year ago and today. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoyed all this information shared. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share. Leave a comment. Let me know where you're watching from. And thank you all so much for being a part of this journey. Some great changes happening on our planet, and I'm happy that all of you are here to witness together. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.